Hello, everybody. Welcome to Disabilities Redefined. And I am sitting in one of my favorite places in front of a, a computer with Zoom on, in front of very creative, very successful, articulate, and beautiful people. Erin, Erin Noon K, how are you? So good to see you again, sweetie. I'm good, Dr. T. Thanks for having me back. Oh my God, yes. This is your third, third, is it third or fourth? Third time of Third. Third, and always welcome, always welcome. Yes, and you've done some exciting things since we last spoke. So we're going to talk about that's the purpose of this show right now. Andy Arias, how are you, buddy? What's going on over there? How are you? Thank you for enjoying my chaos as well. I'm doing well. Moved back to LA, so I'm, you know, trying to get out organized, but I'm so happy to be here. All right, kids, let's just jump right in. You two have a very, very special project going on right now. The Unicorn Closet, which was part of the Easter Seals Disability Film Challenge. And congratulations, first and foremost. Thank you. Okay, now, Erin, I want to start with you. How did you create this union, or how did the union form? When we were last on the show, Molly and I, my business partner, Molly Miller, uh, we talked about our You Belong Here podcast. And so we do our podcast. We do uh, lots of different media projects. And we had actually done a podcast with Andy Arias this past June for uh, Pride Month. And so that's how we connected. So the Unicorn Closet is really about amplifying the voices of the LGBTQ disability community, but also subsetting it a little bit further and going into the lives of Latino, African American, and other marginalized communities that you don't see in LGBTQ media or in disability media that much. So that's sort of the, the purpose of the film. And I, I really, even before Black Lives Matter and all those issues that have come up in 2020, my whole mission, my whole purpose, my whole for my career in all aspects is to amplify voices from those marginalized communities right. because I feel like in a lot of ways, LGBTQ and disability is very white, right? So we look at it from a white contextual lens and we don't get to see the beautiful tapestries of Latino and African-American in those stories. So my friend Zachary McCann, who also submitted a uh, film for Easter, it's very, very good. And I, it kills me that I can't remember the exact title, but he talks about Iowa Medicaid and kind of like perceptions of disability. I had seen him posting about this Easter Seals film challenge and I was like, I want to be involved with this somehow because it's so neat. They had Jim LeBrec, who we had this past fall for a podcast with the Crip Camp crew. Yes. You know, they had uh, people from HBO. I'm like, this is a really neat project. Like, I don't know how I want to be involved, but I want to be involved somehow. And then Andy. Andy showed up. Yeah, he put out a post yeah. that has some help with editing and production on the production side. And I have a little bit of experience with that, but I'm, I want to learn more because, you know, there were some phenomenal films. We were competing with 87 other films across the world. And, you know, I mean, just to hear so many impactful stories and, you know, and all and the majority of these people. So part of the film challenge is you at least need to have actors with disabilities or you need to have an editor behind the camera with the disability which our team had both all the things because all of our people had disabilities and then behind the camera i also have a disability so beyond just doing it you guys did an amazing job so again congratulations and it is in one of the most prestigious film uh, festivals in the world. So again, congratulations. It, it got there. So you did it. You really did. You really did do it. Final question, Andy. What do you mean when you say my extra life? 
<laughs> so people always love to use the word live life to the fullest, right. right? And I really believe extra life to me means being able to roll into a room and be exactly who you are in every aspect, Latino, disabled, LGBTQ, and being, I validate myself every day. I have to, and we all do as people with disabilities, we self-validate and we, you know, we rule in that way. But I want to, I live my life in that way, right? So I lead by example. And so if people can respect me and take me seriously from being LGBTQ, disabled and Latino, that's what I consider my extra life, is making sure that people acknowledge, appreciate and validate all those aspects of myself. Excellent. Erin, always a pleasure. I'm sure we will be in touch very soon as always. Andy, we're going to give you a few weeks to get settled in, in Los Angeles. Get yourself situated over there with your career on the road. And then we want to touch base with you again the end of September just to see what's going on with your career. Okay? That would be great. Thank you. Okay. All right. This has been great. Thank you. And congratulations again, guys. I really did like the film. Congratulations. Thank you. Dr. T. Awesome. Hey.